Today I have Elizabeth Hill um, joining me, a debut novelist of the psychological thriller, murder mystery, Killing the Girl. Welcome, Elizabeth. Hi, hello. Uh, what's your writing practice? When, when's the best time for you to write? I write in the mornings. Um, sometimes I, I write late at night. I, I wrote something last night, which I might now use as the beginning of this book. <laughs> Um, but mostly I write, <coughs> excuse me, in the mornings. Um, and I'm not a very disciplined writer. Um, I don't like, because of my spinal problems, I can't sit writing for too long. No, I, see, I, I think um, it, it's no good comparing yourself to other people. Um, you know, you've used a, a variety of different marketing uh, mm -hmm. techniques to, to get your book out there. Firstly, which social media platforms do you prefer? Um, I prefer Facebook, mm -hmm. but I don't think Facebook works so much now, um, two years down the line, because I think everyone that I've connected with on Facebook has either got my book or not wanted my books. So I think you come to a point where that's exhausted. So, so do you have an author page or is it um, like yes. a general, a, an author page? I have an author page, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, it does. If people want to find you um, on Facebook, what do they look up? Uh, wicked Writer. Rick, wicked Writer, okay, yeah. thank you. Um, any other social media that, that you actually enjoy using? Um, no, I like... Uh, I, I tried Twitter. It doesn't seem to work for me. That's at Wicked Writer as well, Wicked mm -hmm. Writer UK. Um, I'm on Instagram. I've gone back on it. Um, that seems to attract a lot of unwanted male attention. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which gets a little bit tedious. <laughs> um, that doesn't seem to work that much, though. So, for all these platforms, I've met wonderful people and writers. So um, for the social aspect and the friends and the sharing ideas on books and hints and tips and, and just reading in general, all this wonderful, but for marketing, um, not so good. I think you've recently started using BookBub. Is that right? I, I tried BookBub. It's all discount books, isn't it? So you you do a discount on there or, or do you use it to advertise the discount that you've got on Amazon, for instance? You can use it. I think if they do, if they feature you, you they like you to reduce your book, but you can use it when your book's full price. Oh, okay. Well. Many authors do. Uh, another um, way of... Um, getting ratings is to offer your book free um, in return for an honest review. Have you used any um, platforms which which enable that? Yeah, yeah. Um, Book Sirens, which I came across through Goodreads. Goodreads, um, I'm on. It's best to have your awful profile on Goodreads. Mm -hmm. It's a massive platform about 85 million readers i believe to get they they offer promotions um giveaways which cost money as well mm. and so through them i found book sirens and i like book sirens i had lots of reviews through book sirens and book sirens say they they um in general that they their readers um give about 75% response rate on, on reviews, which is very high, actually. Yeah, I've, I've had higher than that, I think. On book. I, I've been on NetGalley. Um, that was quite good. I think about 260 people downloaded my book and I had 26 reviews. So NetGalley you have to pay for, don't you? Yeah. And, and it can be very expensive. Mm. But there is, is it the Ind Society of Independent Authors where you can, if you join the society, mm. which is um, based in America, 
it, it's slightly cheaper. It seems to be like a, a full-time job just doing the marketing. Yeah, it, I think it is. Did you use Kindle Select? Yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm in that. I, I did opt out um, for a while, and then I did uh, a course on Amazon advertising. So I opted back in. <laughs> so... So you can opt out and opt in. That, that was okay. something I wasn't sure about. So yeah. um, You have to wait till your three months are up because each time you opt in, you're it's, in there for three months. Yeah. Uh, then you can opt out. So I opt out, opted out for about 10 days. Oh. <laughs> and, and then I took this course on yeah. Amazon advertising and I thought, well, I'm going to have to opt back in. The advertising, you really have to understand... Mm. the advertising you know that that world and and <clears throat> once again that you know that's another sort of thing where you've got to go away and research it so yeah. but i think have you found um you, you need to have a different approach uh between the different markets so between um the us for instance and and the uk yeah I found with marketing that the, the US is a better marketplace than the UK. And I find generally I get a lot better response from the US. I find the US easier to sell. It's a big market, you know, to, so it, it's more responsive to advertising as well. Right. Mm. And advertising on book, book bands. And Any I'm, platform. Yeah, most okay. most of the platforms uh, like um, Bargain Booksy, Fussy Librarian, they're mostly geared towards um, the US. So I, I think it's best if you've not got a lot of money to use US markets and aim to go big in mm -hmm. those markets and forget the UK. Are, is, are there any other markets in the world which where you've been um, having successes? Yeah. I've just started advertising in Canada, Amazon Canada, and one in Australia has also bought as well. So I... Is there anything um, about the marketing aspect that you wish you'd known before you started? Yeah, I wish I'd known to concentrate on the US and I wish I'd known not to give so many copies away for free because I went on one time I gave it away for free. I had 700 downloads in one day God. and then no reviews. Yeah. And it's probably sitting on 700 Kindles. And um, I don't think with my next book, I'll ever give it away for free because at least if somebody pays 99 P they might read it and yeah. they might review yeah. it. They've made an investment. Yeah. Mm. The, the, the truth of the matter is that, um, re potential readers or customers um, see the ratings, whereas they have to go right, scroll right down the page to, to see the reviews. Mm. Um, so, and I also think that the number of ratings is is important. Yeah, possibly that's more like important good. than um, than having a lot of five star reviews. So the prologue. Perry Cutler and I buried Frankie Jubry in the orchard. He lies not far from the garden wall under the shade of the apple trees. Over the last 40 odd years, I spent many hours sitting on the wooden bench we placed next to his grave. It's a peaceful spot near the boundary wall running to the southwest of my estate. Sitting near him, gives me great comfort. I tell Frankie how restricted my life has been since his death. I tell him how sorry I am that our daughter Francine died so young. Although I loved him, I never tell him I'm sorry he's dead. Outside my study window, the trees and bushes sway stiffly in the winter breeze their shifting branches stripped bare in the cold air. January is my least favourite month, with its grey, joyless days and cruelty towards my garden. On my desk, my notebook lies waiting for my reluctant attention. 
the sick feeling I've had this last month stirs as I touch it. It lists the many tasks I have to complete, inventories to write and documents to sign. Chilly air surrounds me as Frankie, spirit, enters the room. Shivering in his ghostly presence, I reread the newspaper article. My house is to be demolished, to make way for a ring road. They will find Frankie's resting place when they cut into the soil, protecting my lover, my darling man. Police will ask questions. Strangers who know nothing about me or my pain will look at me in disgust. After they have finished with his skeleton, we can arrange his funeral so that he can be laid to rest in consecrated ground. We will say prayers and sanction his long awaited trip to heaven. Although when I killed him, I was sure that he went straight to hell. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Elizabeth, and, and um, good luck with the sales and with the American market and, and globally. <laughs>